guys, let's go um, make some keto tostadas. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you what I'm making for lunch. I'm using the um, Thrive Life Shredded Beef, which again has um, zero carbs and beef and salt and that's it. Um, so I'm using a half a cup. I put it in my pan with some Kerrygold butter and I'm doing what we call dry roasting. So um, I've got, I'm just see how it's kind of soaking up that, um, toasting it quite a bit or a little bit. Now I'm gonna add some water. Um, so I need to grab that. Throw that in there. But before I grab that on the way over there, I'm gonna show you what else I made. Um, to go with this, I made, I'm making like a tostada. So I made a Parmesan cheese crisp uh, tostada in the pan and basically just put my Thrive Parmesan cheese in the pan of oil or of butter and just let it get crisp and then carefully put it on my plate to cool and it'll harden up. And that's how you make the taco shells too. All right, don't mind the dishes in the same size. Get on that little water. Isn't that pretty? So now I'm going to add some water. And I'm just gonna let this simmer and cook until all this meat is tender and I can break these bigger pieces apart. And that's gonna go on my tostada. And I'll show you that when it's done. Okay, so here's my tostada. You can see it really well. I put the meat, I put in an avocado smashed up on as my base, then put the meat. Um, got two dollops of sour cream with some um, uh, Frank's hot sauce. And I didn't put cheese on top since there's so much cheese, you know, in the tostada crust. And there you have it. Okay, you guys, so I'm making the bagels, as I said, and I wanted to show you um, how I make my own um, everything bagel seasoning because it's a lot cheaper to make it yourself and you get lots of batches out of it. Um, plus, I don't have a Trader Joe's here. Even though I did find it on Amazon, I just prefer to make it myself. There's still a little bit left in here, but I'm going to make some more. So I'm going to show you. Um, I use my Thrive. Uh, let me get this where you can see it. My Thrive Chopped Onions. Okay. And these are really great. Um, you can get the ones at the store, the dried, freeze-dried onions, but um, I prefer these and love them, and they're great. So I'm going to put a tablespoon of those into my jar. All right. Um, and then I'm going to put a tablespoon of garlic. Now, it calls or I would use, um, well, recipes that I've seen are the freeze-dried garlic. I tweaked this one for myself, um, but I don't, the freeze-dried garlic is $8 for um, a jar about this size. And so I'm going to use garlic powder. I just think it works just as fun, just as good, and you don't have to worry about it being as expensive. Um, they both have carbs, so it, you know, either way won't win her. So I'm gonna do garlic powder. Hopefully Thrive will come out with some garlic for us someday. We can use that. All right, and now I'm gonna do two tablespoons of my poppy seeds. Okay, and next is two tablespoons of sesame seeds. These are the ones that I got. Oops, put them all over the place. I like using these sesame seeds when I make like um, buns too for like um, hamburgers and stuff. Um, and now I need a tablespoon of sea pink sea salt, which I let me grab because I totally forgot it. Okay, so I'm gonna add pink Himalayan sea salt. And then the last thing is two teaspoons. I use my Thrive Peppercorn usually. Um, we have some great spices, um, but I'm out of that, so I'm just gonna use my regular pepper. But I like the peppercorn, it has a great flavor. Um, and of course you can get another brand of peppercorn too. Um, but this is what I'm gonna use today just because I'm out. All right, and then I just stick my lid on there, you guys. And then I'm just gonna shake it up. And every time I use it, I shake it up just to get it well mixed or you know, move it around. And there you have it. I have everything based bagel seasoning, you guys. All right, I'll show you the bagels later. 
So here's my bagels I made. Um, I'll um, attach the recipe so you guys can um, know where to find it. There are several good bagel recipes out there, um, keto bagels, um, and they're really good. So you'll have to try them. And also I put my seasoning on here that I made. Okay guys, I'm back and I'm making um, some Jamaican jerk seasoning. And um, so let me show you how I make it. Um, I actually have, I, I go to Jamaica, I'm not going this year, but I've for the past several years have gone there twice a year for mission trips and I'll probably be going next March. Um, and so we have, the place that we go to has their own, it used to be a pimento plantation. So they give us uh, fresh pimentos. And these are not like pimentos um, that you see in olives, obviously. Um, this is what we make all spice out of. So if you don't have, if you can't find ground or, you know, whole pimentos to um, grind into your own allspice, you can just use allspice in the place. So I've already ground some up, I'm gonna show you. And I've put them in here. I put a tablespoon of these ground pimentos in here. Um, so now I'm gonna add my other ingredients. So I've got, I'm gonna put a tablespoon of onion powder. And I came up with my own recipe for this because a lot of the ones you buy have a ton of sugar. And I don't do sugar. All right, so next is our Thrive Salad Seasoning. And this has um, parsley, garlic, white onion, chive, and red onion in it. And that's it, no sugar. And I love this on vegetables, but this is going to be, I'm gonna just open the lid. This is gonna be really good in this because most recipes call for um, parsley or um, or cilantro. We also have cilantro, but I don't have any of that right now. But And this has the parsley in it for me, so I'm just gonna use this. Try not to dump it all. There we go. And they taste so fresh because they are freeze dried, so it, it keeps the freshness and the smell and the and the and all the nutrition in there. Um, Three tablespoons I'm gonna put of garlic powder, which is right here. And yes, garlic powder has carbs, but this is not going to be like, you're not gonna eat this whole um, three tablespoons of garlic powder or onion powder in one sitting. It's gonna be used several times on some meat as a you know, sprinkling on the top of it. So it's not like you're gonna eat that all in one recipe. Um, pepper, I, am, I would probably use my like I said in my other video, my Thrive Peppercorn, but I'm out of that, so I'm gonna use my regular pepper. Um, one and a half teaspoons. Give or take. To your taste, right? Um, and now we're gonna use um, red pepper flakes, and um, I grew up in Louisiana. I live in Texas now, but which I've lived lots of places, but um, I grew up there during high school. So I love hot, spicy stuff. I grew up eating it. I would probably put more than this in here, but to each its own. I'm gonna put a little extra, because I love it. And you could also use cayenne or use both, depending on how spicy you like things. But I like the hint of the flavor in the jerk. I don't like to um, go crazy with it. Um, and now I'm gonna do thyme. Spin of that or a little bit extra. <laughs> um, what else do I got on here? Cinnamon. Oh, nutmeg. I mean, we're gonna do nutmeg. We'll do a teaspoon of that. A teaspoon of cumin. The best way, if you really want to be strict about your counting, is just, you know, put all of this into my fitness pal or whatever you use, and then, um, you know, measure out how much you're going to use that, that time that you're making whatever meat or whatever you want to use this for. This is cloves. I'm going to do about a half a teaspoon of this because cloves are pretty strong. And let's see. Oh, of course my salt, right? And I think I am gonna add some cinnamon. 
I don't have it here, but I'll go grab it and add it in a second. Um, but, and my salt. And where's my salt? I need to grab my salt again. As soon as I put it up. So I'll grab the second one all over here. All right, and my salt, I'm gonna put a good heaping tablespoon. Oh, there's not that much left in here, so I'm gonna pour this. This is about, there's one, one and a half tablespoons. I'll probably add another tablespoon. Um, and then the cinnamon, two teaspoons of that. And then most uh, jerk, like I said, has jerk spices have sugar. Um, you could just do this just like this and leave it, um, isn't that pretty? And leave it just um, as is and not worry about the sugar at all, which is probably fine with me. I, I'm not going to add any. But if you feel like you need the sweetener, you could add a packet of stevia or some erythritol to this um, just to give yourself some of that sweet. But to me, the cinnamon, the smokiness of all these things are gonna taste really good. Oh, one more thing I need to add, smoked paprika. Sorry about that. I'm gonna do a tablespoon of this. And if you have not used smoked paprika before, oh my gosh, you, you don't know what you're missing. It is so good on meats. I do need to add some more salt, so um, I think what I'm going to add is some smoked salt, because it's gonna give it a little bit more, even more smoky flavor. If you haven't tried smoked salt before, let me show you the one I have. This is the one that I have in, um, I'll turn it over on the side so you can see the website on it. This is from uh, a homestead here in Texas. It's a working homestead and they have all kinds of products. You can go visit their homestead and all that good stuff. Um, but it's really, really great. Um, and it's the flavor of the smoked salt. And a little bit goes a long way because you can remember it is black, but it's not pepper. So don't go crazy with it. Like, oh, I need a lot more. I did that the first time I used it on accident and yeah, my steaks were way too salty. But a little bit goes a long way and it's really good. So I'll probably put about a teaspoon of this in there and let me find the website. Here is the website. Hopefully you can see that. You can blow that up, take a screenshot of that. And so if you want to order some, they also have some really good spice, some other good spices too. And um, I bought some other apple cider vinegar. It was excellent um, too. We'll do two of these because I don't want to dip that one back in here. Ooh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could smell it. All right, I think that's everything I need to add. And now I'm just going to swirl it together before I use it. Like I said, doesn't that look beautiful? You almost hate to mix it up. Um, but I'm gonna put a lid on my jar. And you can also make a smaller batch, put it in a smaller spice size jar. Um, I just didn't feel like grinding, grinding um, enough, or I didn't feel like grinding just a little bit if I was gonna grind some um, of that in my little spice grinder of the pimentos. I didn't want to have to just do a tiny, tiny bit. So I went ahead and did a big batch. So there you have it. There is my jerk spice. I'll shake it up before I use it. Looks like this all shook up. Nice to put on your meat, good rub. Be great on pork, would be great on chicken. Um, I'm sure it would be great on just about anything you wanna try it on, but um, there you have it. Does anyone else watch this watch Survivor? This is like, oh my gosh, I can't believe what they did this year. Hey guys, um, thanks for watching my video. Hope the spices, uh, the spice recipes help you out. And um, let's see, what else? Oh, the tostada was really good. You should try it. Um, I'll talk to you next video. Make sure you like and subscribe, and thanks for stopping by.